say all the way from like seven. So I want to say from like second grade all the way up until eighth grade. Okay. Yeah, it was. It was. So that's like seven years. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. That's a long time. Very long time. time. Especially when you think about it, it only takes us 21 days to form a habit. Mm. No, no. So how many steps of 21 days did he deal with these thoughts and right. hear these things? Right. His brain is programming and, and taking this stuff in and he's starting to believe what these right. this, this negativity that these kids are feeding him. Yeah. And now it's not only like face to face. Right. You know, I think in the past he's dealt with cyber okay. bullying too. I think he's dealt with, you know, bullying on social media and things of that nature. Okay. And um, I know some of the extent of that, but I don't even know the full extent of how bad. I know it would be times where I would have to ban him from getting online because somebody has said something and he just busts out crying or, you know, he's throwing things because they said something about his appearance, you know, in a way that's really, really nasty. You know, they take nasty digs. Now, these digs that kids do to each other, they it's nastier than how it used to be when I was coming up. Some of the stuff they will say now, I wouldn't have dare say the, the type of things that they're saying now to each other. Yeah, I mean, to the point, and you know it's bad because you have so many kids that commit suicide because of Yeah. It. I mean, I think it was two weeks ago, I posted um, an article from Australia mm-hmm. where this young girl, she had been a model, but she had been cyberbullied in her school, and she killed herself. Oh my goodness. And this family was, um, her dad has a um, hashtag called Stop Cyberbullying Now. Wow. And, you know, and he, he just wanted to share the story. Yeah. Because he just wanted to get the word out. And yeah. that's why I posted it on my team scene um, Facebook page. And I think I posted it on our Women's Friendship Group page, too. Oh, God. You know, because. You know, it, it's just the thing where, like you were saying, the digs the kids are taking at each other yeah. are, are detrimental. They're not just teasing you about little lightweight stuff. They're, yeah. they're going in. They're trying yeah. to hurt your soul. They're not yeah. even trying to, it's, it's they're trying to destroy you. Yeah, it's like they, yeah. they don't even have no integrity anymore. They don't have no morals when they're right. saying these things to other kids and right. there's no boundaries. None whatsoever. And I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely catching a backlash of as a parent right. from what he endured. I'm definitely catching it. I'm definitely um, seeing the consequences of other people, other children's actions and how cruel some people don't realize, right. you know, um, but we we go through it, we go through everything, and he's so different, he, he like I said, he, his clothing, he like Japanese, he likes stuff with like Japanese comics and different mm-hmm. Japanese things and Japanese logos, he's really into porn, you know, okay. um, anime, oh like yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and he was like, he actually knows some Japanese, and that's just, that's him. Right. That's, we, we, and that's amazing, and it's something that he should be celebrating, but he feels like it makes him shine. Yeah. So, and, yeah. and light attracts, light yeah. attracts bugs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> It's hard in high school, and I think now 
it's better for him because he's a junior, so it's not as bad. But it it could it you know once you're a target, it's kind of like you you want to make sure you stay up under the radar because I can't you know I can I can I can teach him and I can mold him at home, but once he walks into that school, right, right. that's a whole nother battlefield yeah, right. for all kids. And you know, it's a struggle. And it's gotten so bad, it's like you, you have to make sure you're doing things and teaching things that keep them safe, keep them on a realistic level that, okay, I am in high school, we are in 2018. And I can't have you, you know, you just got to make sure you're not causing more harm than, right. you know, you, you got to make sure that you're staying afloat and doing things also to, you know, you can't send them with wearing any and everything. Right. You try, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to try to keep up as a parent right. with the bullying and, and knowing that you you have a child that's been a victim of a bullying. How involved was your your child's principal in in that bullying? Mm. In, in any of the years, did, did, did were there any, did the school take any kind of action or I mean, I can say in, in I can say in elementary yes they were very good, okay. very hands on. The discipline, the discipline was not taken lightly. Okay. Um, I can say that's why I felt the safest once he did get into a situation. But once he got into junior high, like I said, he went to a charter school and it went downhill. Mm. It went downhill because, like I said, he would be balled up in the corner in the gym, but there's, there's, there's a coach or there's a, a PE teacher in there. Mm-hmm. How are they allowed to get away with these type mm-hmm. of things when there's an adult in the room? There's a statistic. One, and I believe I said it on my last uh, show, so I, I, I may have this backwards, but I believe it's one in four teachers see nothing wrong with bullying. Wow. Mm-hmm. One in four. Mm-hmm. I believe that. So if you had 20 teachers in the school, and I believe that. And and nowadays you they might you gotta think too like they probably scared to say something or actually, you know, get involved because now it goes deeper than just okay, we gonna have a little chat in the classroom. Right. And mm-hmm. teachers they'll be outside waiting on you. <laughs> right. and, well, and then the teachers can't break up teachers hands are tied. Yeah. In a lot of ways, they can't break up fights, man. Right. Because they can, they can be prosecuted. Right. If they put their hands on a student just for, just to try to protect and them. They're losing their job. Mm-hmm. They're losing their job behind yeah. trying to protect, protect themselves. themselves. Right. Because now right. bullying has went so up. Now it's teachers mm-hmm. that's being bullied. It's teachers yeah. that can't even teach because you have this right. unruly kid right. in the class and once you just lose control now you don't have a job but right. you have yeah you have done everything to protect yourself everything mm-hmm. by the book all year long dealing with this child and once you lose control now you got to pay the consequences right. but they didn't take but it in the child doesn't right because they didn't take it serious right. in the first place because i know just as well as everybody else when you see those incidents on Facebook where the teacher is fighting the student you know that that didn't just escalate overnight right that was a, a oh, continuation right a situation that had lingered and went on and on without anybody saying anything right I truly believe that and it just got it, it just it, right. it just went there. And then teacher probably got to the point where they were like, you know what, if I got to lose my job today, I'm just going to right. because I'm right. not going to continue <laughs> to deal with right. this. Right. You know, I'm not going to continue. I'm not going to let this child 
run my classroom. I'm not going to let right. such a child right. disrespect me and my right. other students. Right. You know, and that teacher finally decided to take a stand, mm -hmm. and they paid the consequences. Mm -hmm. And I say that for the for the victim, the child that's being bullied mm -hmm. as well. Right. You know, it's only so much. Right. Before and 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 it's sad because now it's ending in suicide. Right. But it also can end in violence. Right. Mm -hmm. Eating brain right. death. Yes. What about these like these uh, social media videos where the kids are just trying to like beat up and, and it goes so, viral just so that they can make a video that goes viral. Oh, and it's like four or five kids on one Yeah, TV. I see. I mean, yeah. that's the. They just showed one with a girl, mm -hmm. a girl, a, a girl, and it was a group of girls, and they and, and they bullied her, and now you're seeing where the parent of the bully child is getting involved. The parent is fighting <laughs> with what the child that's being bullied on. That's that's that's, that's ridiculous, mm -hmm. you know. As, as a parent of a child who has been bullied. Mm -hmm. I could see that parent fighting. Yeah. Now, my child is an <laughs> No, no, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the victim. The victim's the victim parent. parent is actually getting into the fight. I just seen something on Facebook about that. I think that's almost a situation. This is a That's, that's a sticky situation, but I have to say that if it got to the point where teachers couldn't do anything, the principals couldn't do anything, and if somebody touches a money jack, right. <laughs> money is going up to the right. It's not even, right. <laughs> it's not even going that way. And just, <laughs> you know, Devin was coming home and he bowled up in the gym, I was like, point him out. Right. Point him <laughs> out if he <laughs> so he never would because he showed me her. He never would yeah. because I don't think he wanted <laughs> to not be able to go back to the school ever again. Because once I was, oh Lord, it right. just, yes, yeah, it's, right. it's like, okay, I'm going to school with a belt today. <laughs> you know, it's, but, you know, I, of course I don't condone attacking people's children, but if their children are not attack my children. Right. <laughs> I mean, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> right. You know, because I'm, I'm going to protect my ass. And for those that think this video is just, you better play close attention because you just never know. Right. Your child could be a victim right now and they're not going to say nothing because they don't want to lose their cool or they don't right. want to lose their friends. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and, and one thing that I've learned in high school is belonging is the most important, important thing, absolute thing. And you can, I can say as an adult, you know what, you don't need them. You don't, oh, it doesn't matter what they're saying to you. Yes, it does. Because you, that, you're not in their shoes. At that age, it's a vulnerable state. It's scary. It's, you want to belong. Right. And you don't want to be the freak. You don't want to be the person that stands out and now everybody knows you're they you're not considered as normal. Right. You know, you're not, you know, you're not yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a hurtful thing. Yeah. Very hurtful. Very hurtful. So you just you Put myself in the child's shoes, and I stopped to understand that. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having any last tips that you want to just say to kids or to parents? Yes. Um, I would like to just tell parents to just stay on top of. Social media. Stay on top. If you know you have a a child that's easily led by other children, because we have our leaders and we have our followers. Right. If you have a child that's easily led, easily, you know, can easily get involved with the wrong crowd or with the wrong people, that's sometimes that's how bullying starts. Just just keep a close eye on that social media page. Keep a close eye on how they dress. If she used to be bright and outgoing and she's no longer like that, mm, good nine point. times out of ten, she's being bullied. If mm. she used to 
be the one that spoke up on, you know, things of intelligence, and now she, I don't know, you know, nine times out of ten they're being bullied. So just watch for signs of being of bullying, and don't let it get to the point where now it's out of control and you don't know what's going on with your child if they're being bullied. But watch the attitude, because their attitude will change. If they dumb themselves down to fit in, if she starts acting, dressing, and looking a different way other than what she used to, mm-hmm. sometimes that's a, a trigger. Sometimes that's wow. a form of bullying. Wow. So just pay close attention to body language. And, you know, don't ignore. Don't ever think, oh, no, not my child. You know, because right. we think because we were popular that our kids are going to be popular and not be a part of it, but that's not always the case. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Because I know that as a mom, that's the toughest thing is when you, your child gets to a certain age and you know that you kind of have to let them handle it. Yeah. And you kind of have to... That you have to be okay while you're at work or at school. Yeah. While he's at school. Yeah. Yeah. I pray that this segment has been enlightening for you. And I thank you for your time. And Miss B is signing off for the King King Pen on the Terry Grand Radio Show.